Greetings to our OpenCon 2022 friends and colleagues. My name is Chris Hollister. Uh, and I'm Joseph Pat. And Joe and I are reporting to you from the University at Buffalo Libraries about an experimental OER stipend program and a subsequent study on faculty perceptions of that undertaking. Briefly, we will provide an overview of our library's OER studio. A New York State grant the studio received to expand OER activity on campus and the resulting stipend program. We will describe a study that we conducted to understand faculty perceptions of the stipend program. We will share the results and discuss the implications. And then we will wrap up with some concluding thoughts. So our OER studio is an initiative developed by the UB libraries to engage, educate, and train university faculty and instructors in adopting, adapting, or creating open content for their teaching. Importantly, the studio also specializes in facilitating the production of OER related research. So from 2017 through 2020, New York State included an annual $4 million investment in the state university's OER programming to mitigate the high costs of course textbooks. The State University's Office of OER Services managed this annual investment and devised a plan to apportion the allocated money to eligible campuses through qualifying grants. Our OER studio qualified for roughly $75,000 in grants during this time and used that money in part to pay for an experimental OER stipend program to incentivize and reward OER based teaching. After three years, the state's office of OER services discontinued apportioning grants to the campuses. And our studio had to reimagine OER support moving forward. We started the process by conducting a study to understand the impact of the OER stipend program as perceived by the 24 faculty and instructors who had received those awards. We administered an IRB approved questionnaire and my colleague Joe will now report the results. Thank you, Chris. Uh, as previously indicated, we had a total of 24 faculty participants with a 100% response rate for, uh, for the survey. Of particular note was the diversity of departments within our pool of participants, as can be seen here. This wide range allowed us to explore our faculty perceptions and provided a kind of microcosm for the institution. The first series of questions we asked regarded faculty perceptions of OER use in their courses. Like other research conducted on this topic, our findings showed highly positive reviews for OER in areas of student learning and engagement, as well as instructor engagement. The 24 participating faculty never indicated a degree of negative impact in any category, and very few indicated no impact whatsoever. This follows the trend of other research in this area and is important for establishing a baseline for our further questions. Our next questions revolved around our participants' motivations for using OER in their courses. Included here is a graphic interpretation of the results for one question. What were your original motivations for using OER? We provided a number of options to select with high results for options such as course or textbook costs and savings. However, of significant note was the relatively low response number for the category of SUNY OER teaching stipend with only four total responses.
Our final questions focused on the incentivization process and what participants believe the future of OER motivation should be. Grouped roughly into categories, the results can be viewed here. The option of stipend incentives was only addressed by five of our participants with greater concentration in areas of OER education and address time constraints to adoption. Additionally, we inquired about the role of incentivizing within this process and where our participants believed the efforts should be coming from. Of particular note, university libraries came in much lower on the list than we anticipated. Prior to this point, the university libraries had been considered the institution responsible for these kinds of programs, but our results indicated that faculty were interested in greater involvement from the SUNY system, uh, their own schools or departments, and the greater University of Buffalo. Thank you, Joe. So as you've seen, the results of this study align really well with previous research in terms of faculty perceptions of student learning and engagement. No surprise there. Notwithstanding the small scale of this study, however, we now have some new evidence to suggest that stipends are not a primary motivator for faculty to undertake OER-based instruction. And that they recommend other approaches as being more incentivizing. And notwithstanding the generally understood notion that libraries are very often campus OER leaders, we now have some evidence to suggest that instructors believe their institutions, schools, departments, and states should be leading those efforts. Much more detail about our stipend program and this study are available in this paper, which was recently published in the New Review of Academic Librarianship. In addition, our research data is openly available on the Open Science Framework. We thank you very much for your attention and your interest.